Hi chosen ones, hi divine light beings, hi gods and goddesses, welcome to the channel universe, the channel that will help you uplift your universe and your universe within. Hi, it's me, Juju. Chosen ones, divine light beings, gods and goddesses, today it's all about the waxing crescent new moon. Like I already said in the previous video that I made, that I'm not that I was not going to make the videos of the new moon on the dark moon day anymore. Um, I am going to follow my ancestors' way, so the ancient ones' ways of um, having the new moon on the, like I said, waxing crescent moon so in ancient times the waxing crescent moon was the new moon so when we see that tiny slight light like if let's say for instance when you cut off a nail you see that crescent you know waxing crescent moon when the light is just starting to come back into the moon that you can see it that is where for the ancient ones the new moon would start and um, a lot of people um, a lot of spiritualists are practicing the new moon on the dark moon and that's fine everybody has their own way everybody has their own way of following what their spirit is connecting to them for me um, i said i'm going to do it different i'm just gonna follow the path of the ancient ones so there is a waxing crescent moon in cancer the waxing crescent moon is ca in cancer and let me not forget to say that the crescent moon is most of the time is is for good luck so when you are having your rituals, when you are having, um, you know, rituals for your new beginning to open your road, etc., etc., on this crescent moon, it even will give you more luck when you are practicing your rituals on that day or on that night. This Cancer New Moon is a time to sit with your emotions because Cancers, we all know this, it's a sign of emotions. You know, Cancers are always in their emotions. So by knowing that this, this new moon is in Cancer, you already know it's about tuning and tapping into your emotions. This uh, new cycle is a sign the sign in Cancer is a rebirth that is, um, it involves themes relating to our family, um, living situation, property, and our sense of safety and security. This is the best time or period um, for frank conversation with your soulmate and also to solve family matters. So if there are some issues in your family, um, you as a chosen one could be the one that can mend certain or bring certain harmony into the family. During this new moon, it's also favorable for establishing personal affair and development of intuitive abilities because um, the cancer signs uh, cancer is all about your intuition you are very intuitive signs so when you know that this new moon is in cancer tap into your intuition meditate sit still ground yourself to tap into your higher self and your intuition so that you can get certain downloads certain uploads as some call it nowadays 
um, certain, you know, channeling, channel certain information that may be very vital to you. During this time, it's easier to learn and unlearn and learn to understand people. So when people show you who they are during this period, during this time, believe them. Cancer sign is best known for their nurturing, you know, their natural nurturers. So this new moon in cancer sign is all about nurturing, uh, self-care, um, you know, sentimental, um, being sentimental. And yes, occasionally crabby. Cancers are, um, when it comes to the sign of cancer, when we are in a new moon, the sign of the new moon, you can also have the tendency to feel a little bit crappy, feel a little bit that you want to be in your own shell, in your own bubble, and that's okay. Um, you can gain more clarity when you are in your shell when you are in your home like you know when you you are seeking for clarity clarity often when you are in your home life or uh, when you are inside of your home in solitude sometimes it is good on the new moon to be in solitude to gain more clarity on certain issues in your life so when you gain more clarity of home life, your inner life, your roots and your um, closest familiar relationships, yeah, that is also very important to know that on this new moon, uh, three days before and three days after, you can get these type of clarities when it comes to home life, your inner life, your roots and your closest familiar relationships if you're seeking clarity for certain um, for certain of these types of um, yeah clarity that you're, you're you're seeking any new moon calls for self-reflection and caring for your inner verse your inner self um, but especially when the new moon is in cancer uh, because cancers are um, a lot of times introverted people, so they go a lot in, inner. They want to know what's happening inside um, of themselves. So they are seeking for the knowledge of their inner self, their higher self. Um, yeah, so especially when the new moon is in cancer, you could find... It emotionally satisfying, um, necessary to retreat into your shell, into your own bubble, into your home uh, safety, um, and to get in tune with your needs so that you can take conscious action. So when seeking for clarity, um, when, when, when wanting to gain more knowledge of inner self, when wanting to um, have some clarity about people and things and situations that are happening into your life, this new moon is a good time to take time to sit still, meditate, ground yourself, like I already said, and get, you know, get these uploads, get these downloads and messages that the universe, your guides are sending for you. Um, you know, take conscious action. So when you take time to sit or go into your shell or go into your bubble so that you can take conscious action to ensure those needs are met, the needs that you are seeking. The best crystals for the new moon in Cancer are moonstone, selenite, pink opal, and tourmal—sorry for that—tourmalinated quartz are extremely powerful for the new moon in Cancer. 
Selenite is a stone that is strongly and is strongly it's very strong stone and it strongly resonate with the moon and it can be used to cleanse and recharge your crystals. So it's a very very strong and powerful um, stone. Ground yourself, you know, with this new moon. Go into nature and do some earthing grounding it's nice to make a relationship wish a wish list you know of your relationships and absolutely absolutely no holding back so be very bold about your wish list of relationships that you um that you find very important to you and that um, are having your back so Make a wish list of relationship. It's nice to have that. Um, new moons are about new beginnings. So take a time to fast. Take a time to relax. Um, release extra weight and toxins of the body. Yeah. Drink lots of water. Drink, you know, if you like to juice, make juices for you to drink. And eat lots of fruits because fruits help to detox your body. Um, when it comes to when it comes to fasting, that's also extremely important. If you can do it once a month, if you can do it on a new moon day, it is very powerful because when you fast, you automatically get rid of a lot of toxins um, in your body so eat a lot of fruits and vegetables you know go to a sauna go take a massage um, take care of yourself on these new moon days because um, when you take care of yourself take care of your body soul mind and spirit it helps you only to um, achieve Whatever you want in life, it helps you to become stronger, um, let's say, physically and spiritually. It will help you also to um, move forward in life. Because when your mind is strong and your body, soul and spirit will follow. So... And take a very good rest. If your body is asking you to rest, take that rest. You know, take that rest and relax. Because our body sometimes just need it. Even though we don't want to sit still or we don't want to have a day to just do nothing. Our body needs it at times. Our spirit needs it at times. Because sometimes um, we sleep at night and during the day we are still tired. Because sometimes your spirit, when you are sleeping, when the body is relaxing, your spirit is still doing certain things in the dream realm or in other realms. So when your spirit, when your body, the physical body is asking you to relax, listen to that. Listen to that calling because it is extremely important. So take a day to just not do anything, just to relax. Rituals for new moons are also very important and um, um, also very effective. So number one is create an affirmation, your own affirmation that is easy for you to riddle, easy for you to say every day, especially when you are seeing um, angel numbers um, you know, then just see your affirmations that you have made yourself that are very easy to remember. Number two, write in your journal. Journal things that are important to you. Journal things that you channel or download or upload. And um, it's extremely important because sometimes when having our day-to-day um, -day life, we forget certain things. So when you have certain uploads or downloads, journal them. Journal about certain things that, 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 that cherish you, that give you joy. Journal them in, in your journal. 
And um, when you have a moment of dullness, you go back to your journal and you read all of the joyful stuff um, that you have written. Um, and it will just uplift your spirit and your soul. So number three, plant a seed, literally. Plant a seed on that day, you know, for new beginnings. So when you plant a seed for a new beginning, it's also very powerful for the soil. Because it's all about connecting to nature when it comes to spirituality. Number four, pull an oracle card. If you have a deck, an oracle deck, pull a card and look what it says. Look what type of message, you know, uh, this uh, card has for you. Number five, create a vision board. Number six, get a tarot card reading. You can do a reading for yourself. You don't really especially have to go to a person that does readings. You can do your own reading. Number six, get it. Um, that was number six. Number seven, visualize what you want what what your desires are what you want to achieve what you want to manifest visualize them eight don't push yourself too hard like i was already talking about relaxing take a day to not do anything and take a day to rest number nine reach out to people who can assist you, people that are rooting for you, people that are liking the new you, and people that have your back. Number 10 is the last but not least. Make a new moon water. Set, take a glass of water, put it into, you know, in front of the window with the new moon and let it charge. And um, the moon cycle is a way for us to remember that we're connected to nature. Take some grounding breaths and speak your desire into the glass of water. We are sending energy into the water um, to plant those desires that we want to achieve. So by doing that, you speak certain type of energy and frequency into the water and after after that you have spoken you know your your desires into the water be sure um be sure to use the water whether by drinking it or by putting it into your bath you know the bath that you are gonna um, take or watering your plants with that water um, I always speak um, to the water and put, um, so then after that I spoke my desires to the water, I just put it in the moonlight in front of the window for a few minutes and after that I drink it. So, and it's very, very powerful. It's extremely powerful because we know that our body is made from 80 to 85 percent out of water so it will flow naturally into your body and it will do something magnificent it's like magic so speak your words of um, desire of manifestation to the water uh, speak beautiful words to your water and that energy will transform into your body when you drink it so this was um, about the waxing crescent moon in Cancer. And I'm just going to say thank you for watching. Thank you for your patience. And um, have a peaceful, blissful and very powerful new moon in Cancer.